In a world searching for gaming knowledge comes the man, the myth, a legend in his own mind, Critical. Welcome back, guys and gals. Critical here. Today I'm bringing you another episode of Subsistence on Season 5. And we have rogue hunters that are very close. There's a rogue hunter camp right there. That's what we're going to do today is go mess with some rogue hunters. And then that's a rogue hunter camp right there. We're just on the other side of the lake. Um, oh, I need to grab some food to bring with me. So I have something to nom nom on. Now, I did get visited by hunters in the evening. I didn't mess with them. If I can't record it, there's no reason to... Oh, I see a moose. Level one, two. Nice headshot to start it off. And a nice headshot to finish it off. I mean, if the game's going to give me a free moose in the morning, you damn right I'm going to take it. Now, to deal, I uh, I had those claymores sitting in my base doing nothing, so I placed them in the uh, the bushes here, thinking that if I do decide to step out and deal with hunters, they run to those two bushes for cover, typically. So I get some free damage on them, is my thought process. We shall see. Wash your hands real quick. And I'll just go and put this stuff away. I like how I wash my hands, but not my tool. My axe still has blood on it from the last kill. <laughs> All right, rogue hunters. And once, of course, I see another moose. I mean, if the game is going to tempt me, I'm going to take advantage of it. You can see their fire up there. Hopefully they give me some good wood. I need more wood. Must have wood for building the new base. It's coming along well. Uh, people have been making suggestions. Some people want me to... Uh, want me to add an elevator. and I'm resistant to it for now. Maybe in the future that'll be the way that I go. But for right now, I will stick with my uh, I'll stick with the current way that I have it. Oh man, that shot went over his head. I was hoping that would be a kill. Oops, taking a little too much damage. Ah! Oh, he ducked. I'm not going to stop the bleeding. I already wasted enough resources. Oh, and you're not going to give me any wood, you... Mm, itch it. I have other things to call them, but I won't. I don't know. I don't... Ooh, seven wood. Okay, that's better. And... Two planks. And some... Uh, okay, that's... It's not great, but it's okay. And did you cook me... Bre oh, you did. All right, I'll let breakfast finish cooking then. Go ahead and drink up some water. Come on, you can stop bleeding any time now. Thank you. Uh, I might as well take the ash, that one that appeared. Okay, dude, we get it. They shot you. Stop bleeding. No, I refuse to use any more resources on you. Um, I do need to repair my vest, though. It's getting really close to breaking. But I don't know. I just don't want to put an elevator in there unless I have to. I mean, it would probably flush out the build if I do have the elevator, which would be kind of a nice addition. But it'd definitely be one of the last things I do to that build. It's not going to be the first. One, I don't even have the... Uh, the required power and mass storage to even start making the stuff for the elevator, let alone the resources to make the elevator itself. 
So that's definitely a, a longer term goal. Not a bad idea. It's just, it, if that's what you're waiting for, you're going to be waiting a long, long time. Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, and just in case anybody thought, I didn't craft those claymores. Those are just claymores that I have looted from hunters that just are been sitting in my base doing absolutely nothing. Stupid rabbit. Right for... Alright. I guess I'll leave the rabbit alone. He went right for the, uh, the wolf. He didn't do that. It just seems that way. I know it's not, but... It just feels that way. Let's see if I can avoid pissing off the bear. So far, so... Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, hello, my little chickadee. And what level are you? You're level three. You saw me from a good distance. Alright. Oh, I see scrap, too. Scrap first, moose second. Let's watch my side. Oh. Uh, hunters, but moose. Moose first. I don't care about the lock chest either. I don't have a pick on me. You guys know that. I do appreciate that people don't. Critical, you missed a lock chest. I didn't miss a lock chest. I chose not to uh, even look at the lock chest. All right, all right, you can stop running any time now. Double headshot. That's what I like to see. Come here. Come here. Oh. He survived that first hit. I, w I didn't hear the crack of a headshot, so I think I missed his head. That was me with a, with a bad shot. Watch my hands. I know I could have washed my hands easily at the uh, lake, but just in case. So two moose in one day. Dare I say that was moose-tastic? I know, I know, I'm cheesy. It, it's, it's my personality. I mean, come on. Have you heard my intro? And yes, it's meant to be that cheesy. I love when people are like, oh my god, that intro. Oh, that's so horrible. It's so cheesy. Do you know how cheesy that is? Yeah, it's so cheesy. And I'm like, yeah. You don't get my humor. You won't like it here. You might want to move on. All right. Uh, I think they're right over here. There's no way I'm going to see the fire at this. Well, maybe I could, but I don't see the fire. But they're right over there. And they may be dead or weakened. I'm going to find like a level 5 bear over here or something. That'd be kind of cool, too. But hopefully not, because the bear doesn't give the right resources. All right, where are these guys? I had a good idea of where they were. They were just, ah, I think that's their fire. They're just over there. At least that's where the fire is. There may not be anybody left behind. I'm not sure what attacked, but I'm not hearing hunters in the area, like chopping wood or anything like that. Oh, there's their fire. Run, rabbit, run. Okay, so there's still a hunter around. There's two hunters around. Let's back off for a second. Let's see. Has he seen me yet or not? I have a feeling that one, his AI has seen me. Oh, there's three hunters. Okay. Full hunter compliment. They've got... I saw one without a helmet. That's the guy that I'm stalking right now. Aha, yes. 
Now, you just need to stop. I don't know if ducking actually does anything. No. Alright, I need to find some place. I need to find something to use as a fighting position. And this is about as good as I'm going to get right now, I think. Can I make it up here? I know I can. Can I make it up here when I need to? Aha, yes I can. Oh, and they dumped me already. I get up here and the instant, the first thing they do is shoot me in the head. Oh, you don't have any armor. Come on, step out again. Body shot. Body shot. Haha, <laughs> I shot you in the back and killed you. Oh, 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 he got an angle on me. Come on, step out. There's a dome headshot with an arrow. Double. Okay, I had to use resources. Health was low and I was bleeding. I think there's one more, but I might have. He might have reset already. Grab yours. Grab the guy I shot in the back. He was right over here, I thought. Yep, there's your body. I know I haven't picked your back up yet. Ah, you went far. All right, I've got... Let's go ahead and eat some food real quick. That'll help my hydration some. All right, so there should be one more. They weren't very weak, so they they ended up killing whatever they were fighting. I mean, they are decently armed and armored. But maybe, well, is there only two? I could have sworn there was three. Yeah, there's a third. You're with the guy I was hunting first. Come on, you're going to shoot the shoot your arrows into the tree a couple of times for me. That'd be great. That's free arrows. Gut shot. Just pointed it right in his middle and pulled the trigger. Let me get that free arrow. And... Oh, you burned your rabbit. You guys suck. No, oh, they did some good damage on me. I ended up using a couple bandages, a couple first aid kits today. I'm getting sloppy. My play is getting really, really sloppy, I guess. Maybe tomorrow I can go after hunters. And then the next day I can go and do some building? On the new base? I guess that's something that I can do. I am jonesing for uh, a new update. I know it's two months down the road. But I feel the need for an update. I really do. Um, oh, I am not disappeared off listing forums or Discord. Uh, two things. One, work's hectic. So I've been really busy with work. And when I'm tired and I go on the forums, <gasps> another moose. Am I going to get three moose in one day? Is this, a, this is going to be a triple moose day. Hold on, let me reload my weapons. I don't care if he runs for a second. I need to reload. I need to be prepared for this. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I actually want you to move on a little bit. Um, but when I go on the Discord and all I hear, all I see what we're talking about is how this is a PvP game and how to build your house so it's it's safe from PvP and God, it makes me nauseous. I mean, seriously nauseous. To think that people see this game as being a PvP game. And they're showing floating buildings and 
how to avoid raids. I might... I'm going to get that moose first. I'll come back with a bear if I think about it. The moose is more important. You know, how... If you build this way, you can work against the PvP and, and you know, join my PvP server. And it literally makes me... I mean, just now, even right now, I, I just... Uh, I hate it. This game has never been about PvP. If... And I'm not saying that people can't play the game the way they want. Their gameplay does not affect me. Okay? I don't play online anyways but their gameplay does not affect me and I'm not saying that they can't play this game the way they want to play this game understand what I'm saying I have never wanted to see this game become a PvP game I never wanted uh, this game to be comparable to Rust in any way shape or form I hate Rust what can I say um and it's still not, but now the analogy is a little bit closer. Now that we have dedicated servers and the uh, admin has the power to do X, Y, and Z and make the, the, the game world work a certain way so that PvP is viable and people are being raided and I just don't want to talk about it. I mean, I'm talking about it now so you guys aren't kind of understand why I've stepped back a little bit. I don't want to answer the questions. You know? One, I don't know because I haven't done... I've never jumped on a server yet on a dedicated server and I don't plan on starting a dedicated server. For me, it's always been a solo, po uh, a solo game and for me to be happy, I guess, needs to stay a solo game. At least for my gameplay. Unless I'm playing with somebody that I already know and like, you know, uh... Hold on a second. Um, oh, okay, that's why. I was like, why am I... I've, I actually have a lot of stuff. Um, unless it's somebody like Blood or something like that. You know, I have no desire to get on one of these... Uh, servers and try pvp i mean when blood did his pvp pvp thing it was it was a different beast you know it, it was hey let's try let's mess around it was a group of friends that was doing it you know a group of uh of his uh of his uh peeps and that that made it a different beast you know that was fun uh open just we're going to kill everything and I, I don't know it's it's just it's not my cup of tea I guess sorry but it's not I did the uh, online gameplay thing for a long time playing one got burnt down on it and don't want to deal with that uh, anymore so uh, I'm not hungry enough for that but I've got three ro three moose in a single day OMG that's awesome um, I probably need to do a serious water run and water my planters as well I used up a fertilizer I put in them already that one sack of potatoes looks ready One and you, two and you. Okay. Make a quick run. Refill all those canteens and get them on the uh, on the stove. You know, one thing I would like to see is a way to do a mass amount of water pre purification. Early game, this makes sense. It's one of the struggles 
that you have to uh, go through to uh, survive. But once you have established yourself, um, we can distill alcohol, right? God, how many wolves am I going to uh, aggro over here? Jump for a second so I can see. It was two and there was a third one back there. Jeez, chicken, did you see that? They were coming after me. Um, if we have a distiller that, that we can run that distills alcohol, why can't that distiller... Oh man, am I out of... Uh-uh, I am not burning wood. I refuse to burn wood. Um, why can't we use the alcohol distiller to... Okay, I do have a match. To process water. Why can't I fill this with dirty canteens and then have it distill or... You know, because it's the same process. You're just heating up the water. You're boiling the water to make the water drinkable. But in this case, you're distilling. But why can't you use a distiller to purify your water? Boil it and process it. I don't know if, if that's even possible. Somebody who's actually used a distiller will tell me that you have no clue what you're talking about. Okay. But why can't I make something similar to a distiller? to be able to process a large amount of water. You know, not quickly, you know, it's still over a long period of time. Like this version right here, I should be able to, you know, it'll take a, uh, a few seconds. If I do it in here, it'll cost a little bit of power, but it's gonna take longer. And then, but that provides me a source to, so if I put five canteens worth of stuff in there, Step back a little bit because I was getting too hot. If I put five canteens worth of water in there, maybe it only gives me back three or four or something. But the ability to to load it up with a lot of water all at the same time and then come back and save the, uh, I have to change out canteens and swap this over and all that, I can avoid a large part of that process. Would be kind of nice whole back and forth flip it over i don't know if i would use it if i lost water though i mean because the way i do it now it's lossless it doesn't cost me water to uh to use it it's just available to me next health increased i lost some health huh hold on Just wasting berries because I have berries to use. Oh, I have berry water. Uh -huh. Next time I'm thirsty, that's what I'll go for. I'll have a, I'll have a nice, re uh, refreshing berry water with a twist of lemon. No, not a twist of lemon. That'd be a horrible way to destroy a berry water. Um. Okay. We need to do some repairs on my equipment. Grab a little bit of everything. There. The fact that it still has a terror, terror to rags always terrifies me when I do that because I'm waiting for me to go, <gasps> no! Because I tore it into rags and I didn't mean to. Oh God, that would just suck. Oh really? I wonder, are you guys gonna step into my claymores? If I show myself out here, they may. You're above me. I am not going to get a shot in the head. Come on, step out. There's a body shot. Come on, go for the go for the bush. You know you want to go for the bush. Of course, I get the, the shy hunter who doesn't want to go for the bush. OMG! Come on, they should not be able to use those against a player. I mean, I don't, I can't. Jeez. 
Okay, this guy's not playing. All right, that's it. Come here, you mu And he shoots through a... This hunter is a cheating little... He shot through the rock to pepper me with his shotgun blast. He's, he's running for it. Oh, no. Man, that was some... Oh, I hate when they break out the... Uh... I understand what the game's doing. It's... The the hunter is, is pulling the the explosive arrow not to shoot the the player but to attack the uh, oh my god he did some serious damage uh, to attack the foundation and attack the BCU which all makes sense but they don't switch and I get it they they shouldn't have to switch their weapons but damn me that hurts. This is why I want a defensive fighting position that's more controlled than this. Just for that reason. Man, I wasted. So instead of getting wood now, I have to go fish. I absolutely must go fishing because I need the resources to make uh, more health kits. I'm down to one health kit. I mean, and that, that hunter, I can handle a single hunter, no problem. But not when they're firing grenade taperos at me. <laughs> that sucked. And if his AI was going to be stuck into, I'm always going to be pulling out a grenade tipped arrow, I, it's like, I'm going to run down. I'm going to run him down. It's the only thing I can do at that point. Fortunately, I just fixed my gear. I bet my uh, my armor would have broken if I hadn't, which would have made that even my, that encounter even worse. And oh, setting sun. I'm fishing in my little pond, soon to be fishing off the back of my house. That is going to be the subsistence life. Oh, I can see the waterfall from here too right there the tip of my pole right there's the waterfall in the distance that's pretty cool oh somebody was complaining about not being able to fish make sure that when you're fishing that you cast the line away from you you can't just cast it right here in front of you, you used to be able to now you have to has to cast your line away from you and it can take a, a a minute or two before you get a bite usually when i waited this long i just go ahead and, and drag it back in but since I'm going to be ending the video here, I'll just go ahead and just leave it out there. I've been Critical. This has been Subsistence on Season 5. I hope you guys have enjoyed this content. If you have, drop a like, consider subscribing, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Bye. Oh, see the sun change there? I'm kind of waiting to hear, hear a claymore go off. Hmm. All right, you guys take it easy. Bye.